Hi guys, I'm going to do the tutorial for Touch the Sky by Hillsong off their A Dirt and Grace album. And I'm doing this because it's really acoustic driven, which is uh, cool. It makes for a really cool song, but there's really not much out there right now to show what the chords are. Because the chords for this version are actually different than the original version. So I spent some time this week learning it uh, for my church service on Sunday and figured I would save you guys some of the hassle of learning it yourself by ear. So hopefully save you some time. Okay, so the first note, I'll try to keep this video relatively short, uh, but bear with me, it's a long song with a lot of changes. So the intro goes from a one to a six, a one to a six, which in, in this, in the key of A, which is what this song is in, um, that's an A to an F sharp minor. So the A isn't played traditionally, it's played up on um, the seventh fret on the D string, and then the sixth fret on the G string. And then you have open B and open E, and obviously your open A down here. So again, seventh fret up here is where it starts. So it goes like this. And you can even throw in a high E from time to time. Uh, they do that in, the, in that version, um, so it's up to you. Uh, but the second note, like I said, is an F sharp minor. And instead of playing a traditional F sharp minor down here, you, you stay up here and you keep Keep the middle and index finger where they are, and you just add the pinky. Instead of the open A, you're going to play um, the ninth fret on the A string, which is up here. And the um, picking, finger picking, or if you use a regular pick, it, the pattern is going to be the same. You can also just play it like a chord and just kind of feel it out that way, uh, but it's up to you how you want to do it. I'm honestly not that great at finger picking, so I chose to use a pick just um, for the simplicity of this video. So, this is how it goes. So the first verse is just the same as the intro, so I'm not going to cover that. Uh, you just keep going through the same thing. And that's it. So let's go back and forth between those. Then the chorus uh, comes down here to play a D. So it'll go A, F sharp minor, A, F sharp minor. Then it'll go to the D for the chorus. And instead of a normal D like this, <coughs> excuse me. You're going to um, just hold down the second fret for these top three strings, and it's played like this. You add in the third fret on the B string. And then it goes to the F sharp minor for the A. to a little instrumental. Uh, so that's it for the chorus. Just note that the second time through, because it kind of repeats that little progression, the second time through it goes to the E instead of the A. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so then it goes to an instrumental following that. Um, what's different about this version and the, this in little instrumental is that um, Joel doesn't play the same thing anymore. He doesn't do the A up here and the F sharp, the F sharp minor. Um, what actually happens is it switches from three people playing this song to a whole band playing the song. And so, he actually switches and plays it on capo two. Plays capo two now. So if you're no longer gonna play an A or an F sharp minor, you're gonna play a G and an E minor. Um, but there are multiple guitars that do this and they all have different parts. If you're just a single guitar um, like I am, then I'll show you kind of what I recommend to get a similar sound. Um, obviously it won't sound exactly alike, but you can get some of those key notes in there that make it sound similar. So verse two, um, it goes again from the one to the six, one to the six, or in this case, a G to E minor, G to E minor. Um, so like I said, for this, because it's different, you can leave this high E to ring out. except now you're not going to play a, a D because we're capo 2, you're going to play um, a C, which is your 4. So the 4. Um, same thing, you can keep the high E, high e ringing out. So G, into the 
minor. Repeat it. Except now go to the minor. To the D at the end that time. Because now we're in capo 2, so it's no longer a D. It's going to be an E. Or, I'm sorry, it's no longer an E, it's, it's going to play a D. And you let that ring out. Um, and then you'll hear it in, in that version that it actually picks up on the acoustic. Um, so then it goes to the bridge, find me here at your feet again. So here's how it goes. from the G to the two minor, which is the A minor. Um, and instead of playing an A minor like this, or even with the high E string, um, because this version rings out like that, the B and the E string both keep that third fret. So all I do is instead of bringing the index finger over here and changing the chord structure, I just keep it like this and add in the other two notes. So after that note, then it goes from a two minor to a six minor, which is your E. E minor, to the 4, to the C, back to the G, and then it repeats and it builds. to stay on this note, which is the end of the bridge, and it goes back into a chorus full on, and that's when Ty is singing real high. So different chord progression again. Then it goes to an instrumental down. Um, like I said in the beginning, I don't play this exactly like they do because they have multiple guitars. Um, I just play the way that's kind of the most prominent. So in the very beginning, it does do that little um, picking. And also back at the end, here in this instrumental following that full-on bridge, it also goes back to that picking that you hear. So you can kind of play it either way. Um, you can even play this little pick method the whole way through and just play it all as chords. Obviously, then it's going to change um, what notes you're playing. Uh, so you can kind of pick and choose how you want to do it. But anyway, so it goes back to this instrumental and it's down. Instead of going to the F sharp, you go to the B minor. I use my thumb there. Then to the F sharp minor. And then down to the D. And repeat. And that's when that tagline starts. So the title will start with my heart beating right here. Instead of going down to the D, now you just put um, on the A string, the 7th fret. And so that whole thing goes like this. Here's the instrumental.
And after that little tagline is over, right here on this note, then you're going to go back just to the intro, or in this case, it'll be the outro. So it's just your A and F sharp, and then it rings out on the A. And that's it. I'll put the chords, sorry, I don't know if you can see me or not. I'll put the chords in the description um, to make it a little bit more clear so you can follow along as we go. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.